Good morning, everybody. Thank you for attending today's Ichimoku Trading Strategies review session. Yeah, let's start off with some of the questions you might have since this is a review session. Do you have any questions that you'd like to answer first before we start off with our um, chart reviews? All right, none. Let's start off. All right, um, here are some issues which are showing uptrends and are still on an uptrend right now. Uh, Ayala Corporation, as you can see, is still um, above its Kumo. It tried to break below the Kijun Sen a few days back, but it was able to um, rise above the Tenkan Sen. And today's trending strongly once again. So for issues like this, for Ichimoku, you know that you have a, to have... Um, you have to consider whether you're a momentum trader or a position trader. If you're a momentum trader, you would have cut your losses below the Tenkan Sen line at the blue line. If you're a position trader, your cut loss point would be um, the Kijun Sen line. Of course, you have to set an allowance as well because perhaps plus or five, um, plus five to ten fluctuations below the Kijun Sen line would be a good cut loss point. If you're a longer term trader and you are able to stomach consolidations or you have to, the time to um, stay in the market despite, despite consolidations, then your cut loss point would be the Kumo. Of course, this is only if you're a longer term investor because it will, well, if Ayala Land, uh, Ayala Corporation corrects, it could take, for example, this timeline shows us that if Ayala Corporation decides to do a sideways correction or the earliest time it will be able to bounce off the Kumo is November 21. If you look at the bottom, the calendar, the dates at the bottom, possible bounce off point from the Kumo would be November 21. So if you have uh, three weeks to wait, then and it's okay for you to hold. However, there's of course no guarantee that this bounce will happen at this point. This could form a box or a triangle pattern on top of the Kumo. Then let's add our benchmark 50 period moving average. We all learned already that uh, bounces, strong bounces happen when there's a confluence between the Kumo and the 50 period moving average. For example, in a consolidation pattern like this, if 50 period moving averages moves up at the same time as the Kumo and they meet, for example, at this point, then we would expect a strong bounce from here and the possible breakout from there. What's next? Ayala Corporation, ATN, Bell, EW. ATN, I'd like to show you the chart with respect to the RSI as well. Remember when we studied divergences and Kumos? This showed bullish divergence at this area and then a bullish convergence at this area. Right now, ATN is still trending strongly above its Tenkan Sen line and the Chiku span is pointing up. Therefore, we expect possible continuation from um, ATN. As long as the Chiku span is still below the previous high, we would only assume a sideways pattern, a possible triangle, but sorry, let's add that in again. But as long as Chico Span makes lower highs, we'd assume a triangle pattern like this. Once it breaks above this this high, then there's a resumption of the trend. What you have to worry about in ATN is that there's a 
pattern that we commonly see wherein the Kijunsen and the Tenkansen are far apart. So there could be a sideways or a downward correction for ATN as long as it is not able to break above its previous high. Bell seems to have just started with its uptrend. So here's Bell. There's a Kuma twist. And Chiku Span broke above the Tenkan Sen. It is faced with this one and only resistance, which is the Senku B line at 390. Like I said, the resistance is at 390 area, 394 to be uh, precise. If we put in the confluence between different uh, the ranges, the Senku A, the, the Senku B line, etc., this would be your resistance range. So 394 would be uh, the resistance to break because everything else is in place already. All you need to do is to wait for Chiku Span to break above the Kumo. And then we have an uptrend. Now, if you're looking at um, entering uh, uptrends like this, you might also consider looking at the longer term charts. Previous was the daily chart. This is the weekly chart. On the weekly chart, we also see a bounce at the intersection of the Kumo and the SMA50 line. But just like in the daily chart, the Chico span is also trapped under prices. The, the daily chart, um, Chico span was trapped between uh, below that Senku, A, uh, Senku B line. But in the weekly chart, the Chico span is tra trapped below the price and the Tenkan Sen line. So while price may break above 390 in the daily chart, that's considered a breakout in the daily chart. Your first resistance would be your 440 resistance on the weekly chart, which is the top of the prices. So what are the Chico Span resistances? Any of the Ichimoku elements are resistances. So kung nasa ilalim pa siya ng Kijun Sen, yun ang una niyang resistance. Right now, it's above the Kijun Sen and then below the Tenkan Sen. This is the next resistance, it's the Tenkan Sen. Since the Tenkan Sen is below the price, your third resistance is the price bar. Are the price bar. So if it breaks Tenkan Sen at 390, yung susunod mong kailangang i-break ay yung price bars. Once it's above the price bars, do we see any resistance in the monthly chart? Ayan, pag na-break naman yung price bar at 440, if you notice yung price bar na yun, na may high na 440, is also re the resistance of the monthly chart, which is the Senku A line. Yung Senku A, yung ilalim ng Kumo, yun ang resistance niya dun sa monthly chart. Ito yung candlestick mo ngayon. Ano? Ito, maliit na to. This is the November candlestick. So monthly chart, 440 din ang resistance niya dun sa uh, trend niya. So, traditional chart pattern, cup and handle din yan. So, yan ang resistance niya, 390. Pagkatapos niya ma-resist yung 390, if, uh, 440, sorry, pag na-break niya yun, during the month of November, until, if you, kung titignan natin to, itong area na to, kung ma-break man niya yung 440, from November to January, ang resistance niya ay 512, uh, 512 uh, 5 pesos, sorry. 5 pesos yung naka-indicate dito sa area na to. So, 5 pesos ang una niyang resistance. With this price bar, ito yung November nakatapat pa dyan, and then December and January 
until January itong range na itong price bar na to. I'm sorry, ang range na itong resistance na to. I'm referring to this. If you move down, hindi na kaya maabot niyan. But if you move down here, tinama itong mga bars na to. Yun yung resistance for those months indicated. November, December, and January ito. These ones. So, tatapat mo lang yung bar dun sa timeline sa baba. If it does break out of 5 pesos, so wala na siyang resistances on the monthly chart. Yan. If you go to the quarterly chart, 460 then ang resistance sa quarterly chart. So that is almost the same resistance as the what we have in the weekly, which is the price bar, and the Tenkan Sen line, which is the resistance on the monthly chart. Yun din ang resistance sa quarterly chart, which is the Kijun Sen line. So 450, malakas na resistance talaga siya. If broken, 5 pesos. So, what's next? Keynote. EW Fly FNI. EW. Again, you look at the higher time frames to see the strongest resistance levels that you might possibly um, encounter. As EW is still on a sideways pattern because the Chico span is inside the prices, right? So, oh, your uh, fear here is that the support is very thin for EW. So for this situation, it's better to wait for a breakout instead because look at the support is getting thinner and thinner. Your resistance would be the um, walang kumo elements on top. No, there's no resistance. But the Chico span is still trapped inside the prices. Oh, sorry. Ito na pala. Lumabas na pala siya. Lumabas na yung Chico span sa price. So we assume that as long as 32 pesos holds, this will be on an uptrend. But again, the support is very thin. So either wait for a breakout above 34 pesos to enter so that um, at least nasa labas ka na nung um, triangle and the Chico span is already above the highest high of the prices. Ito kasi, price, Chico span is above price but it has to beat this previous high para masabi mo hindi siya naka sideways. So right now it's already bullish but note that you have a thin support area here. All-time high C. No, it's not all-time high. 38 pa lang all-time high nito. No? Pero wala siyang resistance dun sa monthly chart. Sa mga, ano niya, sa mga kumo elements. Tapos, it's in a box pattern. Wherein, it's consolidating at the top half of the box. sa ibabaw siya ng kalahate. So ito, we can use the fib retracement para shortcut lang to find out the half of the box. Tinanggalin natin yung mga fibo elements. Iwan lang natin 50%. Para hindi ka na magkocompute ng top, bottom, divided by 2. Ito ni automatic half of the box is 32. So yan nga talaga ang um, indicator mo of bullishness or bearishness. As long as price is above 32, you can hold that. If it's below that, then you can expect a return to 31. To fly. Fill in this land. Lumabas na rin sa, sa monthly chart to. Let's go back to the daily chart. So monthly chart, lumabas na yung um, Chico span sa price range. 
However, in the daily chart, kailangan niya munang masira yung 2 pesos. Flat itong uh, Kijun Sen. So, this will be a magnet to price. Saan ba siya umabot last Friday? Nag-202 siya. Pero nauntog siya. Nauntog. So, bumaba siya ulit. Hindi siya makalabas dun sa Kijun Sen niya. Dun sa daily chart. Susunod na resistance ay itong Tenkan Sen area. So, as long as price time moves um, habang tumatagal, bumababa ang Tenkan Sen resistance niya. So, on the monthly chart, we know that there's no more resistance as long as it breaks above 2 and 208. Then we have a continuation of the trend. Ito, ang problema mo lang dyan is meron siyang bearish kuma twist. So, this might go sideways. Again, sideways pa rin siya. As long as price is able to, it is trending below um, the Tenkan Sen line and Kijun Sen line. So here, try to, try to break it pero hindi niya masira. So nakita mong meron ditong kumo, baka mag sideways muna siya dyan. Because the sentiment is bearish, the future sentiment is bearish. Nag kumo, nag break out, uh, kumo twist. Bearish kuma twist dito. What else do we have on the list? House IDC, IMI, MAC. House. Yeah, itong si House tried to break above resistance. Nag ang bullish signals dito ay yung uh, uh, Tenkan Sen cross over the Kijun Sen. Tanggal natin yung EMA 50 muna. SMA 50. Tapos yung Chico Span, nag-breakout na. So itong Chico Span, ito kasi yung closing lang ang pinapakita with respect to the closing price. So during the day, umabot itong Chico Span dito sa um, Senko A line. So yung closing, yun ang sinusunod niya. So that's why it closed at the same level as the price because it just re reflects prices. So, Untuk sila pareho at this area. Price and Chico span. So you'll expect IDC to move side, uh, sorry, house to move sideways within the Como first. Ang nearest support mo would be itong 521 which is the bottom of the Como. Sideways. So better thing to do is to wait for a break above the Kumo before entering this because this, this is quite a thick resistance. Itong uh, resistance ni Chico Span, medyo makapal. So, makapasok man siya dyan to move sideways as well. Same way here. Let's look at the RSI. Yan yung RSI. Nasa resistance area din. So, pare-parehong nag-resist yung RSI, pati yung price, tsaka yung Chico Span. IMI made a bearish kuma twist a few days back. But this is a weak bearish kuma twist. Uh, uh, sorry, not a kuma twist. A weak bearish crossover ng Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen because it happened above the kumo. It still had the kumo to support it. So nagbound siya and it also broke above the Tenkan Sen last Friday. It closed above the Tenkan Sen so it has to stay there. Your confirmation na uh, strong uptrend would be when the Tenkan Sen goes back above the Kijun Sen. Ang resistance mo, uh, the Chico Span is still inside the price bars. So pag may follow through yan sa Monday, prices, uh, the Chico Span is likely to move above prices. So this has been on a very strong trend. Itong correction na to, that was warned by the twist here. The twist to, habang nag-correct to, 
and then it went sideways when it broke above that line at uh, that kumo nagresume ulit ang uptrend dito so ito but unless mac is able to break this previous chico span uh, sorry i am is able to break above this chico span we assume that it is on a sideways trend And MAC is still in a strong uptrend. Ito yung range ng Chico Span. Remember, mga tinignan natin ranges within consolidations. Nag-break out sa range dito. Dito. And here. So... Continuation of uptrend for MAC. Again, while there's still a bearish divergence, these are just warning signals of possible reversals, but they are not a reason to sell. We have to wait for confirmation because a confirmation would be a break below the Tenkan Sen or the Kijun Sen lines. Right now, it was able to maintain its uptrend above the Tenkan Sen line. So there's no confirmation of a sell for MAC. Mark MBT Meg um, MRCM wide. MAC. Mark. Mark is still on a sideways trend. Kahit meron siyang mga um, sudden surges, it's still bearish because it's below the Kumo. As uh, though may cross above Kijun Sen sa area na to, Tengasen cross above the Kijun Sen, this is an unreliable signal because the price is sideways. Ah, nakaganto siya. Hindi pa naman niya nabibreak yung Kijun Sen, yung Chico Span, ay sideways pa. Nasa ilalim pa siya ng price dito. So it's still on a sideways mode. It's still inside a rectangle pattern and there's no confirmation with the Chico Span yet, eh, the Kumo. So this is still sideways. This a weak Bullish signal because it happens below the Kumo. Also, there's a one resistance here, so RSI, and then a second resistance on top of it. M wide. Ito, M wide also tried to break above the Kumo, pero naontog. There's a Bullish uh, crossover, but it was a weak one below the Kumo. Also, the Chico Span hit resistance at the, tank, the Kijun Sen line. So, wait for a breakout above the Kumo before entering M White. Let's add MRC in. Ito ren. Despite the rally last Friday, it found itself hitting resistance at the Senku line. Tapos there's a bearish Kumo twist here. So, and lahat ng mga situations where the Chico Span is still below Ichimoku elements always range straight, just sell on strength until it gets, it finds a breakout above its Kumo and its previous high and or both. Meg. And also on a strong uptrend. Nako consolidate lang siya after the breakout. So ang support line niya would be 550. Support level is 550. Also a bearish divergence to note.
MBT. Sideways. But this is a bullish signal. The Kuma twist. It was able to break above the Kumo, but it failed. It went back below because it was still not strong enough to break above the previous high of the RSI. Not supported by the RSI puro, puro prices, but it's not supported by the RSI. So in breakout niya dito, it failed. It might try again. It tried again last Friday, but it was strong resistance niya talaga tong, uh, so far, hindi siya makalabas dahil sa Senku B line na yan. So just wait for a break above that. Annie, we forgot Annie. Despite the sell down, it's still on an uptrend. Technically, still on an uptrend because it's still above the Tenkan Sen. However, their big problem for Annie is that it broke below the 70 parabolic line however in the bigger picture weekly uptrend pa rin siya bigger picture diba dati nag uh, rally siya but it was separated from the Tenkan Sen so it went back down consolidated sideways might do the same thing again until the Tenkan Sen is able to catch up this is the best case scenario our worst case scenario if you look at the Manji chart Laki ng distance niya dun sa Tenkan Sen line niya. Worst case scenario would be a return to 9 peso level because it is quite um, detached from the Tenkan Sen line. Siyempre, in Tenkan Sen, it only moves up every on every candlestick kasi monthly chart to. So, ano, beginning of November pa lang. We will find this out at the end of November or as the price moves back closer to the Tenkan Sen line. So we have the daily and the weekly charts to manage our trades. We can set tighter stops. Similar that is a daily chart. Their tight stop would be this line. Because baka too late na if susundin mo yung monthly chart to, to set stops. The higher time frames are good for finding strong supports and resistances. But if you want to manage the trade on a daily basis, of course, you use your daily or weekly charts. So ito, support mo is 11.55. This is the area not to break. If this breaks, ito na yung susunod, 10.60. Because like we said earlier, diba nandun pa rin siya sa, ano eh, sa range nung Strong resistance, kahit na naka-break siya ng, 12, ng 11.76 natin, there's another resistance here. Itong susunod na resistance is the area where price pivoted for a long time. Diba ito yung una nating uh, resistance na we mentioned hanggang 11.76? Kasi nandiyan yung tip nitong, itong double top pattern. 11.32, tapos yung bottom nito ay 11.76. So 11.50, ito. But since it was able to break above that, may susunod ka ulit resistance. Ito namang um, set of price bars at this area. So ang near support mo would be yung previous high niya. 11.50 to 11.30 area, yan ang support mo. And this is your resistance. Yung weekly chart niya may parabolic pa rin, so may pag-asa pa to. Just manage the trade. If it is not able to stay above 11.50, then you'd expect 10.60. Puro mining na to. Itong Niha oh, na break niya yung weekly, weekly resistance niya dun sa Kijun Sen line. At Tenkan Sen line. Susunod niyang target is 2 pesos na Kijun Sen. Ang laki ng uh, kumo dito, ang kapal. So it'll take, it'll have a 
it will need a strong volume to break that. So daily chart, though it tried to break above the Kumo, nauntog din siya. Pati yung Chico Span niya, nauntog dun sa price bar na, sa bar na yon Sa resistance na Tenkan Sen. So pag nabreak niya yung 185, 186, ang resistance niya susunod ay 2 pesos yung Tenkan Sen dun sa weekly chart. Yung monthly tells you the targets. Pag nabreak niya yung 2 pesos na yon, you have 252, then you have 3 pesos. Wala pang twist dito so don't expect much from Nihau. Mukhang sumabay lang to the sa rally ng nickel at FNI. But there's no kuma twist yet. This is still going to go sideways because malaking resistance, strong resistance to dahil um, flat yung bottom nitong kuma na to. So might as well just buy above 280. But if you buy now, you'll just be waiting. All you can expect is a range trade for Nihau. So FNI, maganda yung monthly chart niya because it broke above the uh, Kijunsen resistance line already. Kahit na na-sell down siya last week. No, it broke above the, it closed, still closed above the Tenkan Sen line. Pangit ng uh, close niya, no? Layo kasi niya dun sa, ano, detached pa siya dun sa Tenkan Sen. So it has to find equilibrium because it made two strong um, advances for two days. So ang support niya dapat ngayon, itong Tenkan Sen line at 285. That's a strong support. Ore, PXP, SM, SMPH. LC. LC also on a strong, uh, uh, also on a sideways movement. Nagkuma twist siya dito but it wasn't able to hold. So now there's a bearish kuma twist once again. So wala mo nang, uh, nothing to expect for LC. Still on a sideways movement. Tapos yung Chico Spanya. It even broke below the previous low, Chico Span. So, avoid muna ito. So, wait for bullet. Pag nag point up in Chico Span, that's the time to consider going back in if you're a range trader. So, ang, pag nag bounce man yung Chico Span, hanggang 20 lang muna, your signal to enter would be. If it's above the Kumo and there's bullish Kumo, bullish um, crossovers on the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen, then that's the time to enter. If you want to get into the uptrend. PXP. Ito ren, it was able to break above the Tenkan Sen. Tapos yung Kijun Sen niya, uh, sorry, Chico Span niya, bounced up. You know, I am bounce point yung price bars. But it's not yet uh, above the price bars. It's still inside. So until that happens, hindi pa natin ma-assume na mag-continuation. Maganda lang dito sa close niya. Kung pinilit yung close niya last Friday, it closed above the downtrend line. But technically, it's still above the Kumo and the Kumo is a very thick one. So it's a thick support line. Pag nagtuloy ito, challenge niya yung previous high niya na 10.10. Of course, when that happens, it also has to break above the resistance here para malakas yung uptrend. I think we forgot to mention APX. The APX, it, it tried to break above the Tenkan line last week, last Friday, yesterday. Pero hindi siya close above dun. If it does, it ang target niya. Target area ito, kasi nandito yung Kijun Sen. 2 peso to 2, from 2 pesos to 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2
205, which is where the 206, where it's where the Tengansen is. Kasi wala na siyang resistance dito. Itong una niya, 198 actually. This is still bearish because it's still below the Kumo. It, it was above the Kumo here, but then it moved sideways and went below the Kumo. So this is a very thin Kumo on top of it. Therefore, it's a weak resistance. However, you also have a very weak support b below it here. Right now, it already went below the Kumo, so it's in bearish territory. You have to sell on the bounce. When price is able to stay above the Kumo, that's the time to stay long on APX. Kasi medyo makapal yung resistance niya. But again, Kumos also tell you price target. So if it does get inside above the 206 resistance earlier we mentioned, look at the monthly chart. Yan, itong target niya. Ano to? 284? And then the 4 peso area. If it is able to break above, 206 resistance. I won't take it one step at a time. After 288, meron ka pang 325 and then 4 pesos. So you have SM. Sorry. You, you can use it on 4R chart or hourly chart to find out entry and exit points during the day. Right now sa SM, nakita mo na nasa support siya ng Kijunsen line. So, kunyari gusto mong laruin yung daily, ay, you want to do an, in, a two-pit intraday, you can use the 1 hour, 30 minute. Of course, there are minimal expectations sa uh, price ranges when it comes to the intraday trading. Ito, it found support at 9.65. Pwede mag-bounce yan dito. It'll find support there. Kasi nandiyan yung Chico Span. And then when it bounces, itong target niya would be the Tenkan Sen at 9.85. SMPH. And it, yan, 30 minute chart ng SMPH. You see that it bounced on top of the Kijun Sen line. Ang naging target niya was the Tenkan Sen line. So, Itong C pattern, sinunod lang niya dun sa 30-minute chart. So daily chart, it's still on an uptrend because it's still above the Tenkan Sen. Alright, so that's the chart review that at last not tugs. Yes, there's a recording for this. Um, James, my recording. So, ito, supported at the Tenkan Sen line. So, uptrend pa rin si Tugs despite that strong correction last Friday. So, hold this as long as it's above the Tenkan Sen line. Or if you're a stupid trader, just trade the range. Uh, just trade the range until it breaks above the previous high. Okay, so thanks for attending today's session. Just send me your questions if you have any. So thank you for um, spending your Saturday morning with me. Again, I apologize for the delay. See you on Monday. Uh, see you in the chart review tomorrow, Wednesday. Thanks. Bye.